I messed up. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the Reigning Greats Kingdom. My name is Elle and today is all about deletion mapping. A huge shout out to Mariah Lopez for suggesting this video and I know it took forever to make but I had a lot of fun researching it and I hope that it can now help a lot of other people. So before we get into the video, make sure you go downstairs and click that like button and also don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell notification so you can be notified whenever I make a new video. If I ever make a new video. But now, without further ado, let's make it boom. So deletions, what are they? Well, deletions are caused by two breaks in the arm of a chromosome. This cuts out a portion of the genetic data that's needed to make an individual. And since the portion is cut out, it cannot be replicated or used in any other way. So next, one has to look at the severity of the deletion. A deletion within a gene that's small is called an intragenic deletion. This behaves a lot like a null mutation, which you probably went over in class. There are a few different ways to tell them apart though, such as a deletion will never revert to the wild type like a null mutation can, or deletions can give rise to the expression of recessive alleles, and this is called pseudodominance. For example, the alleles on homolog 1 are recessive in comparison to homolog 2, so none of them will be expressed. However, in this specimen, traits B and C are expressed. This is only the case because of a deletion in homolog 2 that spans the B and C positions. Therefore, the phenotype of the individual is dominant, B, C, dominant, dominant, dominant. However, if a lot of genes are missing, the deletion is called multigenic, which can be lethal and can be caused by inbreeding, but we won't go too far into that. So now let's get on to the mapping portion of this. Of course, deletion mapping is used to understand the correct positioning of alleles on a chromosome. And if you would like more practice on this, I'll have a video linked in the description below, along with the sources for all of my examples. So now let's get on to the practice. We need to look at what we're trying to find, which is the order of these. So as explained in the video linked in the description, what you have to do is start with this first chart over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go vertically down and we're going to mark if there is a deletion or if there is not a deletion in each column. So we go by columns, not rows in this method. So what we have to do is we start with number one, and the first deletion shows that there is a deletion with number one. Go down to number two, there is no deletion, no deletion, none, and none. All right, awesome. So then we go down to number two. So then what we just have to do is we have to match it up with the columns in here. The first one we're looking for one negative and four positives. The only one here that's one negative and four positives is B. So B is number one. Number two, we have three negatives, two positives. Well, A has three negatives and then two positives. So that's number two. Number three is four negatives, one positive. Well, that's C, so that will be number three. Number four, we're looking for two positives, then three negatives. Well, that's E, so that's number four. 5, 3 positive, 2 negative, that's D, and then 6 is the only one left that matches with F. So now that we have that, we have actually discovered the correct order for these letters down below, and we can spell out, which it doesn't really spell out a word or anything, although that would be a fun puzzle. We can actually spell it out, so the correct order will be B, A, C, E, D, F, and that corresponds to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six. So for the second practice, I really know that it's hard to see and I'm even having trouble seeing it. And as I was looking over it before we started, I noticed that even though these are all deletions, this chart notifies the deletion as a positive for the deletion. So that's just one difference between this example and the last example. So you really have to look ahead at what you're doing. But anyways, without further ado, we'll start. I have sectioned off the sections that they have in the book or in this example. And of course, it's odd because it is missing one of these letters. So I'm just going to assume that whatever's left is what's left. So for this first section, we have a positive, 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 one that's missing, and then two more positives. And with the only one on this side with that kind of a pattern is E. 
because that's the only one over there. Then for this one, we start off with M, then positive, 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 M, M, positive. The only one on this side that follows that pattern is B. Then we get to the third option over here. It's M, M, positive, M, positive. That's going to be number three. Moving on to number four. G third, A fourth, F fifth, and C sixth. That's the order of these alleles on this chromosome thanks to deletion mapping. So that ends practice two. And now if you want to go find more practices on your own, I highly encourage you to do that. But after these two practices, I think that you all by now will be deletion mapping pros. And of course I forgot to film an intro. So here we are, new clothes, new day, same girl. Let's end this video. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that I helped you get an A on your next test. Much love forever and always from Elle. And I'll see you again soon in the kingdom.